Good day everyone. Welcome to Yoga Hive Online. My name is Saul and I will be guiding you today through around 45 minutes of Ashtanga practice. If you have never heard of Ashtanga before, it's kind of a traditional, very traditional form of yoga. But if you have heard of Ashtanga before and have never tried it, possibly it's because you heard that Ashtanga is very advanced, not for beginners, etc., so on and so forth. Well, actually, it's very friendly for beginners and it's very good to help you improve in life, in any, in physical, physically, mentally, whatever, so on and so forth, guys. And uh, normally, Ashtanga has six different levels or what we call series in Ashtanga and a student can not go to the second series until they master the first series. Third cannot go to the third if they haven't mastered the second. And so it's kind of friendly to beginners because it is taught in a, you know, in a progression kind of setting. And uh, don't worry if it's your first time because I'm going to just be gentle and everyone, there would be lots of variations. And it would be a, a kind of a short practice because Ashtanga normally has around, is like more than an hour long and this would be just around 45 minutes of practice. So, yeah, just, you know, just enjoy the practice, just feel whatever poses just relax. The proper thing is to just keep breathing. So whatever pose you are in, whatever pose movement we do, what's the most important thing is that you keep breathing. If at any point you feel any pain, any soreness whatsoever, that any discomfort in your body, you can pause for a bit, stop, you know, sit down or stand tall and just relax or come to your child's pose like this. Or any, any position that makes you feel calmer, feel free to do so. You can even pause the video and resume whenever you're ready. But, you know, if, if your body allows you to move on without pausing, without, uh, without taking a break, go ahead, feel free to do so. If you want an extra challenge, guys, try not to drink any water during the practice because water helps, uh, you know, just flushes away heat from the body and this practice actually helps generate heat and heat will help you release toxins in the form of sweat. So it's not uh, disallowed. You can go ahead and drink water if you want, just, you know, if you want to build some extra sweat, if you need an extra challenge, try not to drink water. And with that said, I think we're ready. Just come to a comfortable cross-legged position. Come to lotus if this is accessible. If not, just come to half lotus. Or just cross your legs and place your hands wherever you feel comfortable on top of your knees or to the sides or whatsoever. Just important thing is keep your back straight and spine long. Just close your eyes and just take a few breaths here. Just calming yourself down, clearing your mind of any thoughts, worries, or any distractions. Just releasing all anxiety or anything that comes into your mind. Slowly start to breathe and just try to breathe through your nose, keeping the mouth closed because breathing through the mouth actually makes you a bit thirsty. So just try to breathe through your nose and this breathing will help you generate somebody heat in the tummy and as you continue to breathe inhale and exhale try to even out your breaths and try to extend the breaths as long as you can but as you extend the breaths try to stay relaxed 
do not force the breath just keep it still steady and relaxed inhale exhale inhale Continue at your own pace. And before we start, one thing to keep in mind is that Ashtanga is a breathing practice. It's not the poses, it's not the movements, it's all about the breath. So just try to keep your breath in your mind. Keep your breath active, keep your breath relaxed, and may everything else just serve as obstacles to the breathing. Taking three more deep breaths on your own. One more deep breath together. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Good job. Slowly open mm -hmm. your eyes. And slowly assist yourself coming into a standing position. So however you want, just mm -hmm. slowly come up. Come to standing. So just come to the edge or top edge of your mat. Measure around one foot away from the edge and bring your big toes together. Heels very slightly apart, your choice, or just keep your feet together. And this is what is called your Samastitihi position. So this is your equal standing pose. Whenever you hear the word samastitihi, just come back to this position and just, you know, relax, stay calm, relax. Let's just bring our hands to our heart center in prayer. And if you wish to join me, let's just start practice with a long sound of OM as we take a deep inhale. Good day everyone. Let's begin. So again, coming one foot away from the edge of your mat, we'll start with some sun salutations, sun salutation A and sun salutation B. As you inhale, gently bring your hands all the way up, palms together, look at your hands. As you exhale, gently bend forward, bring your hands down to the mat, head down. If you cannot reach the floor, feel free to bend your knees and try to bring your hands down, head down. Take an inhale, head up, lengthen the spine, try to keep your hands down here. And as you exhale, flatten the palms, step the right foot back, step the left foot back, coming into your plank position. And as you exhale, come down to low push-up by bending your elbows. If you lack the strength to do so, feel free to bend your knees and just bend the elbows coming down. Now, pointing my toes to the back, and as you inhale, straighten the arms coming up. If you can, lift the kneecaps off the floor, coming to upward facing dog, head up. And as you exhale, push the hips all the way up. Heels down to the floor, head down to downward facing dog. If your heels are up, no problem. Try to just bring them as low as you can. 
Keep pushing with your arms. Open the fingers as wide as you can. Pushing your hips all the way up. And stay here for five breaths. Looking down towards your belly here. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Keep pushing the hips, guys. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. And exhale five. Good job. Now look forward as you inhale. Feel free to bend the knees. Try to step between your hands. If you cannot, feel free to take extra steps as you try to step between the hands. Exhale, head down, fold forward. Get inhale, slowly come up. Bring your hands up, palms together. Look at your hands. And Samastiti, releasing the hands. That's one round. We'll do four more rounds. Inhale, bring the hands up. Hands together, look at your hands. Exhale, bend forward again. Feel free to bend the knees. Head down, hands down. Inhale, keep the hands down. Head up only. Exhale, step back to plank. Then bend the knees or just the elbows coming to low plank position. Point the toes, straighten the arms, push the chest and head up, upward dog. Exhale, bring the toes in, lift your hips up, head down, look towards the belly. Inhale. Exhale, one, five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, two again, guys. Open the fingers wide. Inhale. Exhale, three. Feet not so close to each other. Just separate. Inhale. Exhale, four. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, five. As you inhale, look forward. Step between the hands. Exhale, head down, fold forward. Again, bend the knees if you have to. Inhale, come all the way up, hands together, look at your hands. Samastitihi, releasing the hands down. Third round, everyone. Inhale, bring the hands up, palms together, look hands. Exhale, bend forward, hands down, head down. Inhale, bring the head up, only lengthen the spine. And for those who want an extra challenge, bend the knees, flatten the palms. And try to jump back to plank position. Bend the elbows coming to low plank. Point the toes as you inhale. Straighten the arms upward facing dog. And bring the toes in. Push the hips up coming to your downward facing dog. Take five breaths everyone. One. Two, with each count, take your inhales and exhales. Three, keep looking towards the belly. Four, and five. Inhale, lift your head up again. For those who want an extra challenge, feel free to bend your knees and try to hop between the hands. If not, just step forward or step back, same as earlier. Exhale, head down. Inhale, slowly bring all the way up, hands up, look hands. Samastitihi, releasing the hands. We'll try to do it a bit faster. Inhale, hands up, look at your hands. Exhale, bend forward, hands down, head down. Inhale, head up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump back, bend the elbows, exhale. Point the toes, inhale, straighten the arms, head up, chest up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take five breaths. One. 
to keep pressing the fingers on the floor, everyone. Three, four, and five. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, hop between your hands. Exhale, head down, fold forward. Inhale, come to standing, bring the hands up, palms together, look hands. Samastiti, releasing the hands down. Last round, inhale, hands up, palms together, look hands. Exhale, bend forward, hands down, head down. Inhale, head up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, hop back or step back, bend the elbows or knees and elbows, low push up. Point the toes, inhale, straighten upward dog. Exhale, bring the toes in, lift the hips up, head towards the, or rather look towards the belly. One, two, three, four, and five. Now inhale, look between the hands, bend your knees and hop or step between the hands. Exhale, head down, fold forward. Inhale, come to standing, bring the hands up, palms together, the hands. Samastiti, releasing the hands down. Good job, everyone. We'll come to Sun Salutation B, just three rounds this time. Same as earlier, except we start by inhale, bend the knees. Bring the hands up, hands together, come into your chair pose. Exhale, straighten the knees, bend down, same as earlier, head down. Inhale, head up, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, step or hop back, bend the knees or bend the elbows only, low push up. Point the toes, straighten the arms, upward facing dog. And exhale, Downward facing dog. Now we'll come to warrior one. As you inhale, look forward. Step the right foot between the hands. Bend the right knee. Flatten the back heel to the mat. And then bring the hands up. Palms together. Look at your hands. As you exhale, hands beside the foot. Step your foot back. And bend the elbows coming to your low push-up. Inhale, straighten the arms upward facing dog. Exhale, coming to your downward facing dog position. Other side, inhale, step the left foot between the hands. Flatten the back heel, bend the left knee. Bring your hands up, look at your hands. Exhale, bring the hands beside the foot. Step the foot back, bend the elbows coming down. Point the toes, straighten the arms, inhale, upward dog. And exhale, bring the toes in, lift the hips up, look towards the belly, downward dog. Take five breaths this time. One, guys, if you're tired, feel free to bend your knees, sit on your heels, come into child's pose. Or just stay in downward dog. Two. And just try to relax your breaths here. Three, four, and five. Now, if you're in child's pose, just come to downward facing dog. And on an inhale, bend your knees, step or hop between the hands. Exhale, head down, fold forward. Inhale, bend the knees. Again, bring the hands up, hands together, chair pose. Samastitihi, releasing the hands down. We'll do two more rounds, everyone. As you inhale, bend the knees, bring your hands up, look at your hands. Exhale, bend forward, hands down, head down. Inhale, lift the head up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step or jump or hop back. Bend the knees or bend the elbows, low push-up. Point the toes, straighten the arms, lift the chest and head. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up, look belly. 
inhale step the right foot between the hands bring the hands up hands together look at your hands exhale hands down beside the foot step back bend the elbows coming down inhale upward facing dog exhale lift the hips downward facing dog left side inhale step the left foot between the hands bring the hands up hands together look hands exhale hands down step back bend the elbows low push up inhale point the toes straighten upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog guys you should be sweating by now if you are good job one two three four and five now as you inhale look forward bend the knees and hop between the hands exhale head down fold forward again bend the knees bring your hands up look at your hands chair pose samastiti releasing the hands down final round everyone inhale bend the knees bring your hands up palms together your hands exhale bend forward hands down to the mat head down inhale head up lengthen your spine exhale bend the knees hop back bend the elbows slow push up inhale upward facing dog straight arms head up exhale downward facing dog inhale right foot in warrior one step it forward bring the hands up look at your hands exhale hands down step back bend the elbows low push up position inhale straighten the arms upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog other side inhale step the left foot between the hands bring the hands together look at your hands exhale hands down step it back bend the elbows low push up inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog five breaths everyone one open the fingers look belly two keep pushing your arms three four and five inhale look forward bend the knees step or jump between the hands exhale head down fold forward again bend the knees bring the hands up palms together chair pose samastitihi releasing the hands and that is that's it guys that's our warm-up sun salutation a and b if you're very tired right now that's a good sign that is the intention of sun salutation a and sun salutation b don't give up guys it's just the warm-up but the next few poses are a bit more relaxing standing poses so guys just stay wherever you are right now i'll just be facing you here to make things a bit easier padang gustasana from here just hop your feet around hip width apart or around two fists apart and then from here grab your big toes with your peace fingers and thumb and just grab and from here everyone exhale bend Forward. if you cannot reach again feel free to bend your knees reach for the big toes and pull yourself down take five breaths one two three four and five Keep your hands where they are right now. As you inhale, just lift the head up and exhale here. Coming to our second pose, Padahastasana. 
Release your hands, lift your feet up, place your hands or underneath the feet, and do it with the other hand. Again, feel free to bend your knees if you have to. Exhale, pull yourself down. Five reps. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Keep your hands underneath the feet as you inhale. Lift the head up only. Take an exhale here, and as you inhale, release the hands, come all the way up. And samastitihi, hop your feet back together to the top of your mat. Good job, everyone. Extended triangle pose or utita trikonasana if you're facing here. Step your right foot open if you're facing here. Just step your right foot open. Extend the hands. Now check your feet should be around elbow width apart only, not too wide, just elbow width apart. And then turn your right foot to the right side, reach out to the right, and try to grab your big toe. If you cannot reach, grab your knee, grab your leg, grab your foot, no problem, as long as the leg is straight. So if you can only grab here, no problem. If you can grab here, no problem. Left hand up, look at your left hand, and breathe. One. Two, try to imagine pulling yourself all the way up with both hands, everyone. Three. Four. And five. Now, as you inhale, slowly release the right hand coming back to center, bring the right foot back to the front, and exhale, turning to the left side, reaching for the left side again, grabbing the knee, leg, foot, or big toe, right hand up, look at your right hand, and pull yourself up. One, five breaths. Two, three, four, and five. Slowly as you inhale, come all the way up. Now this time, we'll do a twisted version. Turn both feet to the right side. This time, left hand up, and bring your left hand to the right side of the right foot. Again, if you cannot reach, same thing. Or fingertips down, if you can flatten the palm, Right hand up, look at your right hand. Again, knees straight, everyone. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly as you inhale, come back all the way up. And turning to the other side. This time, right hand up, and bring the right hand to the left side of the left foot. Left hand, slowly bring it up, and look at your left hand. Any variation will do. Grab the knee, grab the leg, no problem. Five reps. One, if you find it hard to balance, try to press the big toes firmly down, and might help you balance a bit better. Three, four, and five. Inhale, slowly come all the way up. And step back to your samastiti position. Exhale, relax. Good. That was Utita, Trikonasana A and B. We'll come to Pars Vakonasana or Utita Pars Vakonasana, side angle pose. As you inhale, step the right foot open again as, and extend your hands to the sides. This time, your foot or your feet 
should be somewhere in the distance between your elbow and your wrist so slightly wider and this time again turn your right foot to the right side this time bend your right knee coming into a lunge position right hand bring it to the right side of the right foot and make sure your armpit is touching or pushing against the knee try to flatten it down if you cannot flatten it down maybe your legs have to be slightly wider but normally you'll be able to flatten it down if your legs are wide enough and then imagine making one straight line from your left foot to your left hand and look towards the left hand five breaths here one two three four and five as you inhale, slowly straighten the leg, come back to center, turn your foot back to the front, and exhale, turn your left foot to the left side, bend your left knee, bring the left hand down to the left side of the left foot. One straight line from the right foot to the right hand. Look at your right hand. One, two, Slowly as you inhale, straighten your leg, come back to the center. And we'll do the twisted version once again. Turn both feet to the right side. This time, bend the right knee once again. Left hand, bend, clip the elbow or if you can, armpit to the knee. And bring the palms together in prayer. And try to bring the thumbs to the center of your chest. Twisting all the way up, elbows apart. Five breaths here. One, so this is a modified version. If you know the full pose, if you'll be practicing Ashtanga, go ahead and do your full pose. Two, three, four, and five. Slowly as you inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale, turning to the other side, bending your left knee, bring your right elbow or armpit to the left knee, and come to prayer position, twist to the ceiling, look at the ceiling, and one, two, three, four, and five. Slowly as you inhale, come back to center. Extend the hands to the sides. And exhale, step back to the front. Samastiti. You have five standing poses left, guys. Bring your hands to your waist. This is Prasadita Padatanasana A, B, C, and D. And then open your right foot to the right side as wide as you can. As you exhale, bring the hands down, around shoulder width apart to the mat, fingers facing the front. As you exhale, gently head down, as deep as you can. If you can bring the head down, go ahead. If not, keep it up, no problem. Try to straighten your legs, five breaths, one. Elbows bending toward each other. Try to keep the palms and wrists down. Three. Four. And five. Slowly inhale. Just lift the head up. Keep the hands down. Exhale there. And now inhale. Bring the hands to your waist. Come all the way up. Exhale. Coming to our second one, B. Inhale, extend the hands to the sides. Exhale, hands back to your waist. Thumbs to your lower back. Elbows pointing to the back. 
Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, bend all the way forward, keeping the opening on your shoulder and chest by bringing the elbows toward each other. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly inhale, come all the way up. Exhale there. That's B. C. Inhale, extend your arms to the sides. Exhale, hands to the back. So, hands to the back like this. If you notice your feet might slide a bit wider, try and just bring it narrower, no problem. Adjust if you have to. And as you exhale, bend forward. Try to bring the arms as far as you can over your head. One, two, three, four, and five. As you inhale, come all the way up back to standing. Exhale there. And last one, D. Inhale, hands back to your hips. Exhale, bend forward, grab the big toes with your peace fingers and thumb. If you need to bend the elbows, if you need to bring the feet closer, grab the toes. And as you inhale, head up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend forward, pull yourself down, bend the elbows to the sides. One, two, three. Four and five. Slowly as you inhale, bring the head up, lengthen the spine. Exhale here. As you inhale, bring the hands to the waist, come all the way up. And samastitihi back to the front. Release the hands, shake the legs if you have to. One last standing pose, everyone. If your body allows you, Try to come to reverse prayer behind your back. If this is not accessible, just grab opposite elbows. And stay wherever you are, grabbing opposite elbows or reverse prayer. Step your right foot back. Check my feet. They're not wide. They're very narrow. Turn to the right side of the room. As you exhale, Keep your knees as straight as you can. Bend forward. Look at the right big toe. Anytime your knee starts to bend, stop. If your knees doesn't bend yet, feel free to go lower if you can. Again, if it bends even a tiny bit, stop. Five breaths. One. Two. Try to keep looking at the big toe. Three. Four and five. Inhale, come all the way up. Turn to the other side of the room. And exhale, bend down. Look at your big toe. You can stay here if your knee already bends or try and go lower. One, two, three. Four and five. Inhale, slowly come up and turn to the center of the room. And exhale, samastiti, raise the hands down. Good job, everyone. That's all the standing poses of Ashtanga. That's primer, I mean, sun salutation A and B, standing poses. Padang Gustasana, Padang Hastasana, um, Extended Triangle, Side Angle Pose, uti, uh, Prasarita Padatanasana, and Parsvotanasana. So, wherever you are in Ashtanga practice, you always do these poses. The next poses are already part of the first series. And we will be skipping the troublesome poses today. I'll just give you a couple of sipping poses and we'll cool down and we'll 
take rest afterward. So we'll skip the troublesome poses right now. Come to the top of your mat again, one foot from one foot away from the edge. Earlier I was standing here, I'll come back here. Let's just do a vinyasa going to sit. And with that said, on an inhale, bring the hands up, palms together, look at this. Exhale, bend forward, hands down to the mat, head down. Inhale, head up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump back to your low push-up position. Bend the elbows. Inhale, point the toes, straighten the arms, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll come to a chair pose, everyone. So bend your knees, step forward or hop. Bend the knees again. Bring the hands up. Palms together, look at your hands. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. As you inhale gently, bring the hands beside the feet. And from here, exhale, hop to plank position. Plank. Bend the elbows, low plank. Point the toes, straighten the arms, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming to your warrior one. Step the right foot between the hands. Flatten the back heel. Bring your hands up. Look at your hands. One. Two. Three. Four, five breaths here, everyone. Five. Inhale, straighten the right knee. Turn to the other side of the room. Exhale, bend the left knee. One, two, three, four, and five. Now keep your feet like this. Extend the left hand to the front, right hand to the back, coming to your warrior two. Look at your left hand. One, two, keep the arms straight and strong. Three, four, and five. Now inhale, straighten the left leg, turn to the other side. Exhale, bend the right knee. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, everyone. Bring both hands beside the foot. Final few challenges. Try to kick the right leg all the way up and try, if you wish, to kick the left leg up, touch both feet in the air, and come down, bend the elbows. If you're tired, just bring the feet down. Inhale, straight to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. And from here, we'll come to sit. Gently cross your legs, or if you can, step right foot to your left hand, or take small cross steps and sit. Good job, everyone. Keep facing wherever you are. Straighten your legs to the front and just bring your hands beside your body. Flex the feet up towards you or towards the ceiling. Bring the chin down. Keep your eyes open. Take five breaths. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Slowly inhale, bend forward. Try to grab the big toes if you cannot reach. Feel free to bend the knees, grab the big toes, and then slowly extend and head down to Paschimottanasana or forward fold. Relax, no effort on the arms. 
relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Three, four, and five. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale there. And this time, grabbing the sides of your feet. Again, feel free to bend, or if you can, grab opposite elbow, or rather, interlock the fingers if possible. And head down. Another five breaths. Two. Three. Four. And five. Gently inhale, lift the head up. And exhale here. Slowly release the hands. Normally we do a vinyasa in between. Today we'll skip that. Just bring the hands behind your back this time. A couple of inches behind your back. Point your toes. And gently try to bring the toes down. Bring the hips up. Head Two, three, bring the head back, all the way back, four, and exhale, slowly come all the way down. Good job, everyone. So there are a lot more poses in Ashtanga, and I think it's almost 45 minutes. It's impossible, it's hard to, you know, if it's your first practice, good job. And we'll just do one more pose for you guys to, you know, challenge yourselves. And let this pose treat as your uh, peak pose. So we'll do this, this is called Navasana or both pose. And we'll just do this, try to hold this for 30 seconds. And try not to drop your legs. If you're tired, feel free to just support your legs. If you're not tired, if you can do it, extend your hands. So what we're going to do is just lift the legs up. Try to straighten your legs. Extend your hands to the sides. Point your toes. And then just bring your hands where they are. So whenever you're ready, just come to this position. I'll start counting in three, two, and one. 30, 29, 28, 27. Keep breathing, everyone. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. If you're tired, just grab 18. 17, 16, you can also do this if you have to, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good job. Bring the legs towards you. Try not to drop your feet. Hug it in. Hug it in. Now cross your legs. Hands beside your feet. And step back to your low push-up position. Point the toes straight and the arms to upward dog. And as you exhale, coming to your downward facing dog position. As you inhale, cross your legs and sit down. Good. Final three poses, everyone. Just to cool down, grab opposite elbows behind your back. And exhale, just bend all the way forward to Yoga Mudra. Relax everything. We'll stay for ten breaths. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly inhale, come back to sit. Straighten your back. And then bring your thumb and pointing finger together. And then just bring them on top of your knees. Straighten the arms. Straighten the back, chin down. And look straight ahead towards the tip of your nose. Or look towards the tip of your nose. Take 10 breaths here. Padmasana. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and Slowly bring the head up. One final pose, everyone. This is called Utplutihi, and it's meant to drain every single last bit of your strength. So it's either you stay here or you come to your lotus position. I'll stay here for you. Bring the hands open beside your body, not too far apart. Bring it closer. And as you inhale, lift the hips up. Use your feet to push your hips up. If you want, you can bring one leg up. If you can, bring both legs up. 10 breaths. Otherwise, just the hips. 10, 9, 8, 7. Again, extra challenge. 6, 5, 4. Do not go down, everyone. 3, two and slowly come down good job that's it for our daily practice for our ashtanga practice guys bring your hands to your heart center and let's end the practice with a long sound of om followed by three shantis meaning peace ian hill Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you everyone for giving me the opportunity to lead your practice. And thank you for joining us here at Yoga Hive Online. Again, this was an intro to your Ashtanga practice. If you wish, after the quarantine is over feel free to join me and all of us here at yoga hive see you guys there for the meantime turn around straighten your legs open your legs as wide as your mat lie down bring the hands open slightly wider than your mat and close your eyes and relax here in this position Stay here for as long as you want. And stay here, you know, if you're in a hurry, just stay here for at least three to five minutes before continuing your day. And just stay there, relax, close your eyes. Feel free to take a nap if you wish. In the meantime, thank you for joining me and all of us here at Yoga Hive Online. Namaste everyone.